put a little less than a week into the new league year and it's been nothing but craziness around the NFL even with our own Baltimore Ravens those things have slowed down quite a bit and people are still wondering what's going to be next we got some updates with the Baltimore Ravens because people are wondering exactly how much money they do or don't have we also got a goodbye from a beloved Baltimore Raven and then yet another Raven decided to join a team in the AFC North and we're going to talk about all that in just a couple of seconds before we do make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel turn your notifications on let's run them likes up baby run them up and also wouldn't you love to win free two hundred dollars I, I know i would but i'm no expert like you are because we've seen and heard and just dealt with all the craziness that has been the nfl over this past week but now we get to deal with all the madness and craziness that is the ncaa and heart of the city clothing they are back with their own bracket challenge just for you and it's free entry let's look into the rules each person that wants to participate will fill out an ncaa 2024 tournament bracket in full it is free entry and everyone gets a max of one bracket entry brackets are due by tuesday march 19th 2024 prior to tip off for the first four games all brackets are scored by CBS Sports Standard Scoring Rules, and in case of a tiebreaker, the tiebreaker will be the championship game's total square. Scoring updates will be provided after every round on Heart of the City's Instagram and website for the first round, second round, Sweet 16, Elite 8, Final 4, and then, of course, the championship. The link to enter into this contest is down below in the description. So I look forward to seeing which one of y'all from Team Keep It Clean ends up coming out the victor of this NCAA March Madness Bracket Challenge presented by Heart of the City Clothing. And of course, you can check out Heart of the City Clothing, their website, because you can still use code engraving to get not 5, not 10, not 15, but 20% off of your entire order. And also, I forgot to mention that the winner of this challenge, the winner of the Heart of the City Bracket Challenge, you also get an exclusive Heart of the City drop. Because they got some new designs that's coming out. Because y'all remember that design from last year, which were fire. They got some more coming out just for you. And I promise you'll love it. And speaking of stuff that we love, we, of course, love our Baltimore Ravens. And people are wondering right now, like, man, okay, they signed Derrick Henry. Is that going to be it? I don't know how many messages and DMs that I've gotten personally. I know a lot of y'all have had conversations about it, too. Like, uh... Is Derrick Henry going to be our only signing of the offseason? And no, of course it won't be. But, you know, Ravens, they they usually not even that active at the beginning of free agency. So I guess the signing Derrick Henry, they were like, whoo, that was a lot. But no, how much money do they have, though? What, what is their checking and savings accounts looking like right now? Well, this is, again, why we love Brian McFarlane, because he keeps us up to date literally with everything when it comes to Ravens salary cap. Let's read. He said, uh, with all transactions now accounted for, the Ravens are presently $13 million under the cap. So they have $13 million right now to spend, kind of. But let's keep going. He said they will need most of that for just for future expenses, as shown below, but still have yet to restructure any contracts. So they do have the ability to create cap space for future signings. So they have 13 mil right now. Something that we always got to remember. You got a draft coming up and you got to sign those draft picks. So that should be about maybe like five, six mil right there. Uh, the Baltimore Ravens like to keep some spare change, some rainy day funds during the season. That's usually about like five mil uh just in case for injuries just in case they got to sign somebody due to that uh so while ravens do have 13 million dollars technically um they don't really have a whole 13 million dollars to spend but like brian mcfarland did mention and we're gonna go over they could make some restructures if they feel like it and here goes some restructures that they could do where they could uh make some more money open up some more money they could restructure lamar jackson and create 11.1 .1 mil in salary cap space. They can restructure Marcus Williams and create 7.1 .1 mil in salary cap space. They can restructure Roquan Smith to create 3.6 mil in cap space. They can restructure uh, Mark Andrews to create uh, 4.9 mil in cap space. Marlon Humphrey, 7.9 mil. Justin Tucker, 1.7 mil. So that's some different ways that they could create some even additional cap space if they choose to. 
So they do have that as an option. But again, as for now, they have $13 million to spend, but it's not all to spend. Now, somebody who the Baltimore Ravens spent a little more than $13 million on last year, uh, but it was a move that was necessary and it was worth it every single day of the week because it helped them land their franchise quarterback, Lamar Jackson. Uh, that move was Odell Beckham Jr. Of course, the Baltimore Ravens, they signed him last year to that uh, $15 million base deal that was worth up to $18 million. Uh, in order to get the $18 million, it was one mil for the most catches on the team, one mil for the most yards, and one mil for the most touchdowns. Now, if they would have paid him like one mil for the biggest vibe, then he would have got that mil all day. But anyway, uh, Odell Beckham Jr., uh, he was somebody that was released uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, but a lot of Ravens fans still wondered, is there a chance? Could the Baltimore Ravens, even with releasing him, because we knew they weren't going to pay him a $50 million salary, even with releasing him, could they bring Odell Beckham Jr. back? Is there going to be some type of reunion? Because, again, he was well-loved by the Baltimore Ravens. He was well-appreciated by the fan and really just by the city overall. So could Odell Beckham Jr. make his return to the Baltimore Ravens? Well, he issued a goodbye letter. And that officially lets everybody know, like, it's done. It's all love, but it's done. And let's read what his letter wrote. It said, uh, swear on everything. I appreciate the flock more than y'all could ever imagine. Did everything I could with the opportunities I had. Wish I got to do it big for y'all. Thank you for the vibes. To the city of Baltimore, I mess with y'all forever, for real. And most importantly, to my brothers over there, this stuff is a lifetime since I love y'all biggest trust. So shout out to Odell Beckham Jr. Um, he he was he was cool for the Ravens. He was cool. Uh, he did have a, a big impact with the Baltimore Ravens, and just to have somebody like him, like who would have ever thought? I, I would have never ever 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 thought. Um, especially seeing him with the Giants, seeing that superstar status. Uh, and then he, you know, with the Browns for a little bit, but then seeing him with the Rams and. I just would have never thought that the Baltimore Ravens would ever have a receiver like an, an Odell Beckham Jr. Like, I would be like, nah, we, we ain't getting no Odell. Nah, we ain't going to happen. But they did. They did. Now, he wasn't the Odell of old, as we know. But still, Odell Beckham Jr., he can still play. Um, and, and I do hope that he does really well wherever he ends up going. Uh, I know the Jets, they still looking around. So, I mean, Odell J Beckham Jr., he's going to have uh, his suitors for sure. Uh, so we'll see where he ends up and how he does whenever he ends up going there. But shout out to Odell Beckham Jr. It, it is officially over uh, for him and the Baltimore Ravens. But it did not end on a sour note. So that's a beautiful thing. Another relationship that didn't end on a sour note was Tyler Huntley's with the Baltimore Ravens. Of course, they signed Tyler Huntley as an undrafted rookie free agent out of Utah. And Tyler Huntley, it was just sometimes when we were watching, we'd be like, man. Is he able to do everything that Lamar Jackson can do? And early on, it was looking like, oh, man, we, we got, is that like a Lamar Jackson clone? But as time went on uh, and Tyler Huntley was out there a bit more, he definitely had his own style and his own way of doing things that is completely different uh, from a Lamar Jackson. Um, but Tyler Huntley is somebody that uh, when Lamar Jackson missed time, it was Tyler Huntley's show. And it was up to him to, to step up. Uh, and step in for Lamar Jackson And he had uh, a good amount of opportunities to do so uh, But Tyler Huntley Now he gets to flap his wings Well, not wings anymore Because he's not a raven But he gets to flap his wings elsewhere But he decided, you know what? I don't want to fly too far from the crib uh, I'm going to stay right there in the AFC North Just like all these other former Ravens They don't want to go nowhere They just want to stay so close to the Ravens Because they're going to miss them They want to see them at least two times a year Like a Patrick Queen going to the Steelers Like a Geno Stone going to the Bengals Like a Deshaun Elliott going to the Steelers But um, Tyler Huntley He joins the Cleveland Browns uh, A QB roster that includes uh, obviously, uh, Deshaun Watson, um, Jameis Winston, uh, DTR, and now Tyler Huntley. So they got four quarterbacks on the roster right now. So we'll see how that shakes out for him. Uh, but Tyler Huntley is signing a one-year deal uh, to go to the Cleveland Browns. And I'm sure there's not nearly as much animosity 
with Tyler Huntley that there has been and will be will continue to be with Patrick Queen and whatnot a little bit with Geno stuff but really I think it's the biggest has been with with Patrick Queen really but we 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 discussed that a lot and we'll discuss it some more because that will really reignite that uh Pittsburgh and Baltimore rivalry but. Tyler Huntley, um, he is now a member of the Cleveland Browns. So that is going to be interesting seeing him uh, in that jersey. Um, now, I wonder if he's going to be a backup quarterback or be that emergency third quarterback. I would think right now with the way that their roster set up, uh, that he will probably be that emergency third quarterback to where he doesn't he's not on the roster on game day, but he is dressed because uh, they changed that rule, I think, what, last year, I believe. Um, so I would expect him in that role right now. But it's still super, super, super early. So Deshaun Watson, you want to mess around and slip up? But, hey, don't let Tyler Huntley catch you, man, because he might end up taking your starting spot. <laughs>